Okay, hello guys, how are you doing? I hope great. I'm Jimmy JimmyGJS91 here, and be welcome again to my let's play of Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Kong Quest. So, before I start, I'd like to give a big and special shout out to someone that is a friend of mine here on YouTube that was inactive for like almost a year. But now he's back, he posted a status update on his Facebook page. Of course, I'm talking about Jefferson Davis. Most known here by you guys here on YouTube as Big Mac Davis. So yes, so expect a uh, video from him on his channel from some days or some weeks ahead. And uh, yeah, so i like to say to him, stay awesome my friend for what you've been passing through and just move on <laughs> okay so a big shout out to Jefferson Davis alright let's go back to the let's play shall we so on the last video we tackled the, uh, the first uh, three levels of this area so now we are going to tackle the remaining levels of this area starting with this level called Rickety Race very hard level for the first time, so let's get Diddy here, and as, as you can see by the background, yes, that's another of those uh, rolling roller coaster cart levels, but this one is different, you see how. So use the cheat throw to uh, jump on the platform as we can find this bonus room right here, and this one is pretty easy actually, don't even have to move too much, just hit the clanks. Just like that, to get your coin coin. Piece of cake. Right, let's get down. And then let's go to our roller coaster cart. But this time we'll not just travel through, we'll do a race against the clanks. So at the start, go back, bounce at this barrel to gain extra speed, a boost. So our objective here is to pass all the nine clanks that are ahead of us. So it's not necessary to pass all the clanks to finish the level, but it's mandatory you defeat all the clanks if you want the DK coin of this level. That's the tricky spot about this level. On this card you can control your speed, if you press back or forward, also you can press your run button to run faster. Okay, so we are already in third. So now only one more to pass. Okay. Got the G. Okay, here's the DK coin, so now we can slow down a little bit. Because we already won the race. Yeah, this lap is pretty difficult for starters. But with some with some practice you can go through it easily. Alright, so let's finish the level. Yeah, this level is pretty fun, but kinda difficult. Alright, fully completed, so let's go down. Uh, let's do a visit to the old monkey, shall we? I have collected far more tokens than dead by now. What's wrong? Got holes in your pockets? Enough talk, let's see your tokens. Okay, I don't need your tips. Now buzz off and let me work on my new game design. Uh, cranky, always complaining. Okay, so to gain some extra lives, let's go to Swanky's Bonus Bonanza. It's great to see you back. I wish you could win everything, I really do. So let's start with the first game, Wrinkly's Winner. What is the name of this era of the island? Oh, that's easy. Crazy Creamland. What color is your parrot buddy? He's red, green, and yellow. What is the name of the two companies that produced this game and Donkey Kong Country? Oh, that's easy. Brave and Crocodile Games, Cransoft and Crow Incorporated, or Where in Nintendo? I think it's Where and Nintendo. I don't know why, but. <laughs> Let's go to the crazy quiz. What is the name of the first wasp hive level on this area of the island? Oh, he's talking about the first level. Harnet Hole. 
What is the name of the old lady Kong who runs Kong College? That's Miss Wrinkly. Crocky. That's a name for someone. Which of these items cannot be found at the Clubus Kiosk? Wild Run? Picture of K. Rowe? Boxing Gloves and Punch Bag? Of course, it's a picture of King K. Rowe. Alright, let's do the last one, the Babam Booty. What is your snake buddy's name? His name is Ratley. Hisser. <laughs> That's a name. What color waistcoat does old man Cranky Kong wear in Moken Museum? Red, green, or yellow? I think it's green. Okay. If, which of these enemies have you not seen yet during this area of the island? Cutlass and the Swordsman? Sure. Zinger the Wasp? Sure. And Cat on Nine Tails? We didn't see this guy yet. Okay, that's easy. I'll have I will have even better prize next time. Okay. All right. So let's go out of the Creamland. So say goodbye to the amusement park and let's start with Mudhole Marsh. One of those swamp levels again. Okay, so let's bounce on the flitters to get the coin. This level is much better if you have a Dixie. And here we'll find the new enemy that Swanky was talking about. That's Cat9 All Tails. So be careful of him. Because what he can do to you is launch you through the air, but you must not be on the ground when he, when he starts you spinning. Because that will hit you and you lose one of your characters. But yeah, that's that the Cat on Nine Tails. Okay, let's break those um, chests. Just to find a bananas here, I guess. Yes. Here he is again. So most of the time, try to avoid him. It's not cool to be caught by him. Okay, jump the flitter. Okay. Um, so let me destroy this. <laughs> of course. All right. Break the O for me, thank you. Okay, Cat on Eye Tails, I need your help. Okay, can you spin again, man? Yes, of course. I lose Dixie. Why did I do that? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's do that properly. Okay, I got the K. I got Dixie back. Let's switch to Dixie. Of course, I had to die on this gameplay. the bananas, let's jump over here on this section with the hooks beware of the zingers as always okay, jump with the flitter let's break this okay throw the barrel, get the O and now what's intended there, see that banana up there that's pointing to an invisibility barrel let's use it to pass through all of those neckies and the flitters and such without dying. Kill the cat on nine tails and then use the chain throw to access this bonus barrel. That's the right way to do this. <laughs> that is a collect the star one. If this one is easy, just use your partner to get all the stars using the chain throw. Just like that. Okay. And the crane coin is ours. Okay, um, okay, this chest has a barrel. That will serve to kill this cat and nine tails. Okay, let's get the end using the barrel to bounce. Um, lucky okay, this section is dangerous a little bit. That's why I said it's better to use Dixie for these parts. Since she, she can glide. 
go our way, Mr. Cat. Okay, let's get this cannon bound. That means like, a cannon is nearby. Actually, two cannons. This cannon with K and this cannon with C. <laughs> let's warp to the final bonus room of this level. That's a destroyed and all type. This one is fairly easy. Use the cannonballs to kill every enemy here. The flitters and the zingers. So the zingers are actually wasps, not bees. That's interesting because wasps are way more dangerous and uh, angry than the bees. A wasp bite? Not exactly a bite, but you know, really hurts. Okay, let's jump over here and then have to bounce. No, not exactly. Bounce on the barrels to pass through and with leaders as well. Okay, let's grab the chest. Wait for that croc head to go up again. Kill the cat and nine tails and get the G, the final letter. Okay, let's skip over this guy, jump at the flitter. Now this section is tricky. Have to bounce at the barrels. The flitter. Not to kill this guy because we want to use his cannon for one thing. To get the DK coin that is on the end of the level. Yeah, funny enough. So let's wait for the right momentum. Get the DK coin, alright. Yeah, this level gave me some trouble, but we're okay. Alright, fully completed. Here on the right we have Clebus Chaos, if you want to visit. So let's go up to the next level, that is another of those hive levels, that is Color Rainby Rumble. Let's go inside. Alright, we have a Cutlass down there, so just skip him. Let's wait for the zingers to circle around. And yes, this level has a lot of stick honey. So if you're not good climbing with stick honey, that's your place to practice. Let's kill this dude, then I guess the K is down here. Yes, with the hooks, okay. Let's go to the side and wait for that guy to go to the okay. Uh, I'll get the bananas here just because I want to. Okay, let's jump to the other side. Pass the zinger. Mix the barrel to launch. And stick on the sticky honey. Now this section is tricky because you want to go down here without touching the bees. So the most easy way that I found to pass through this area is doing this. Jump in here. Stick to the side. And go to the sticky honey here on the bottom. That's the most easy way that I know of to pass that area. Let me get some bananas here. Because this level is basically that. If you miss one of the gaps here, you found out way down. Go to the very start of the level. That's not cool at all. So be careful when you're jumping here. The sticky honey. Alright, so let's jump here. Don't launch the first time because that'd be you know, kill you. That banana is uh, hiding an invisible hook that we use to climb to reach a bonus room right here. That is a find the token one. This one is pretty simple. Let's climb the sticky honey and get the crank coin. Just that. Okay. We are near to the middle of the level, so let's jump over here. Wait for that cutlass to go to the other side. Here we go. Kill him. If you want that O, oh, have to do the spin or cut cartwheel jump, whatever. Let's do it. Okay. Because if you use your partner to throw to get the O, oh, he'll be up right at the B, at the zinger, and he'll die. <laughs> so don't do that. Okay, so let's go inside here, and one of those uh, very weird moments when you change into Rambi. Yes, we're not mounting Rambi, we change it into Rambi. That's really weird. But don't ask me how this happens. 
Okay, so can you see the DK coin over there? So how to get it, since Randy can't jump up there? Well, to do that, you must do a charge. And jump here on the sticky honey. And do another jump. Yes, like a double jump. Let's see if I can do it right. Okay, that's the way how you do it. Yeah, very, very tricky. Let's kill this cannon and wait for that singer to come through. Now, if you want to get the end, have to do something really quick here. Gain some speed and bounce one of those bees to get the end. So fun to bounce one of those bees, but this level will become very dangerous because what's going to happen after this red zinger? Jump over here. And look to the size of that bee. The music changes. Run, Remy, run. That's King Sting. Actually, the boss of this area, by the way, but we'll not face him yet. So basically, just run. Come on. Then we'll reach over here, charge your attack. Because it has a breakable wall. The final bonus of this level, by the way. This one is pretty simple, just run around and kill all the enemies. Man, I remember when I first heard that song when King Sting appears, I was so scared. <laughs> you don't even know how when I was a kid. Okay, Remy, thanks for your services. You were really helpful. So let's wait to get the G. Oh. Miss. Okay. Oh, come on, can I aim right? Okay, that's how you get the G. Thanks. <laughs> but yeah, that was King Sting. I cannot. Sh uh, I could not show him too much because we have to run, but now, at the final uh, level of this area, the boss battle, we can see more of King Zing Sting. Actually, he's called King Zing, not King Sting, like I said. Okay, so the way to do this battle, since we turn it here into Squawks, the weak spot of King Zing is his Sting, right on his back. See there, flashing red. So that's how you defeat King Zing, at least for now. He's not that hard if you know what you're doing. I prefer to stay down here instead of chasing King Zing. It's easier for me, at least. Because he's going even faster and faster. Actually, his battle has two halves. The first half is his, this one, and he's very big. Okay, I hit his sting. And start to, to release his stings everywhere. Just one more time. Always two hits. Okay, let's stay right here because it's easier for me. Just one more hit. Okay, and this time he'll change. He becomes smaller. Now he's if bees are around him. So let's destroy all of those bees. Before he brings even more. Okay. Now we have to hit him three times. And that's all. That was one. That was two. And that was three. Goodbye, King Zing. Okay, this battle was pretty smooth. Than I thought. I'm always getting being hit by him at least once. But alright, that was the battle with King Zing and the end of the fourth era of the game at Crazy Creamland. As you can see here, all grand coins found and all the DK coins found as well. Oh, by the way, just a random fact, it's stated that, remember the first, uh, not the first, but at the first uh, Donkey Kong game, we had the, to defeat the Queen Bee, remember? This is the King Zing, so he's a male, so it's stated that maybe King Zing and Queen Bee 
they are related to each other, maybe even married or somehow, but that's just gossip, random stuff here about this game. Alright, so we are about to start the uh, fifth area of this game that is called Gloomy Gulch, but this place is for the next video. This place, as you see later, is a very haunted place, you see how. Anyway, until Gloomy Gulch, the fifth area, I'm Jimmy GGS91, and bye bye to everyone. Take care, my friends.